how to draw a square with an area equal to a given rectangle. This is what we are going to learn now in this 3D animation video. We will learn the whole process by solving a typical question from the WBBSE textbook of mathematics. The statement of the question is like this. Draw a rectangle with arms of 6 cm and 8 cm. Find a square with an area equal to that rectangle. You can find this question on page number 283 of Gornet Prakash. The question number I of 4 in chapter 21 is what we are going to solve now. This question asks to draw a square of an area equal to that of a rectangle with arms measuring 6 cm and 8 cm. First of all, do remember that there are three steps to this drawing. In the first step, the given rectangle is to be drawn. In the second step, the geometric mean of the length and the breadth of the rectangle has to be determined. Then in the third or last step, you have to draw the required square with sides equal to the geometric mean. So, let's get started. At first, two line segments measuring 6 cm and 8 cm are drawn on the left side of the page. You can directly put the given arms to the actual drawing site using ruler there. But it is better to draw them here. And copy the lengths in the actual drawing places. Then a large line segment of any length is drawn on the middle of the page. After that length of 8 cm is taken with the help of a compass. That length is to be subtracted from the middle segment. This part is named AB. Then we are to draw a 90 degree angle on the segment AB at point A. Drawing a 90 degrees angle is very simple. Hope you know this procedure. If you're not, then press this I button and watch the video once. Also, you can get that link from the video description below. Else, note the steps of the drawing carefully here. This is how a 90 degree angle is drawn. The breadth of 6 cm is then measured with the help of a compass. And this length is subtracted from the other arm of the 90 degree angle. This part is named AD. Now, with the help of compass, the length of the arm AB is taken. And a circle arc of that size is drawn from point D. Again, the compass is used to measure the length of arm AD. And a circle of that size is drawn from point B. These arcs intersect each other at point C. D and C are first connected with a scale and a pencil. And extended to a little. Then C is connected to B. In this way, we have drawn the given rectangle. Now it is time to determine the geometric mean of the length and the breadth of the rectangle. To do so, the breadth AD is measured with the help of a compass. And that length is subtracted from the subsequent part of the point C in the line segment DC. This part is named CE. Now, let's find the midpoint of line segment DE. For this, the segment DA has to be bisected. With the help of a compass, two arcs will be drawn, first from the point D, with a radius of more than half the size of the segment DE. Then two more arcs will be drawn from point E. The arcs intersect at points M and N. M and N are joined using scales and pencils. This 
This is how we find the midpoint O of the segment DE. A semicircle of radius OD is drawn taking point O as its center. Now the arm BC of the rectangle needs to be slightly extended so that it intersects that semicircle. This point of intersection is R. Thus the length of the required square will be CR. The length CR is measured with a compass. Now a length segment equal to CR is subtracted from segment CE. This part is CP. Then a circle arc of radius equal to CR is drawn from point P. Also another circle arc of same radius is drawn from point R. The two arcs meet at the point Q. Now with the help of scale and pencil point P and point Q is connected. And also point Q is connected to point R. In this way, we have completed the process of drawing square with an area equal to the rectangle ABCD. The name of the square is CPQR. It is possible to reduce the amount of error by using better quality geometry instruments and practicing regularly. If you like the video, encourage us with a like. Thanks for watching the video to the end.